she asks how to deal with non-muslims who only use hate speech and mockery in public when i talk with them about islam should i just ignore them allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious quran in surah fusilat chapter number 41 verse number 34 وَلَا تَسْتَوِي الْحَسَنَةُ وَلَا السَّيِّئَةِ اِدْفَعْ بِالَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنْ فَإِذَا الَّذِي بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ عَدَاوَةِ كَأَنَّ وَلِيٌ حَمِيمٌ Nor the good and evil are the same. Repel evil with that which is better. For you will see between you and him who there is enmity will become your close friend. Do not defeat your enemy, but rather win them over, win their hearts and win their minds. It is compulsory for every Muslim to do da'wah. And I started the session with the verse of the glorious Quran from Surah Nahl, chapter number 16, verse number 125. Udu'u ila bil hikmah, wal mawridatil hasana, wajadilhum billati yahsan. Invite all to the way of thy Lord with wisdom and beautiful preachings, and argue with them, and reason with them in the ways that are best and most gracious. So the first thing that you should do is do da'wah with the non-Muslims, even if they mock you, even if they make fun of you. Yet you should continue doing da'wah with hikmah and with husna. And if you look at the lifestyle of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Even he was mocked at. The Sahaba, when they propagated the message of Islam, they were mocked at. They were tortured. But this did not prevent them from spreading the message of Islam. They continued spreading the message of Islam. So you need to do da'wah, you need to continue propagating the message of Islam, even if the non-Muslims, they mock at you. But if the non-Muslim, their purpose is solely to mock and to make fun of the words of the glorious Quran, then you should avoid them. You should not sit with them. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 140, وَقَدْ نَزَّلَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الْكِتَابِ أَنْ إِذَا سَمِعْتُمْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ يُكْفَرُ بِهَا وَيُسْتَهْزَأُ بِهَا فَلَا تَقْعُدُوا مَعَمْ حَتَّى يَخُوضُوا فِي حَدِيثٍ غَيْرِ إِنَّكُمْ إِذَا مِثْلُهُمْ That it has been revealed to you in the book when they hear the verses of the glorious Quran, they disbelieve in it and they mock at it. So do not sit with them until they discuss something else. إِنَّكُمْ إِذَا مِثْلُهُمْ For if you do so, you are like them. So if they are mocking, they are making fun of the verse of the glorious Quran, then you should not sit with them and you should avoid them. But this is the last resort. After you have conveyed the message of Islam to these non-Muslims, if they are yet mocking and their purpose is to make fun, then you should avoid them and not sit with them.